So in this video, we're gonna cover the top four smart thermostats currently available in the UK. We've brought along a Honeywell T6R, a Hive, a Tardo, and a Nest Generation 3 self-learning thermostat. We're gonna cover the key features of every product and we're gonna rate them in order of our favorites. Just before we head into this video, if you're in the market for a new boiler, head over to heatable.co.uk. We'll be able to get a fixed price and have it installed within 24 hours. So first of all, we've got the Honeywell T6R. Now Honeywell are a brand name that's been synonymous with boiler controls for many, many years, and they've recently moved into the smart sector with this, the T6R. This product, although basic, does have enough features to qualify being in the top four. It has geofencing, it can locate local weather, and it's smart enabled from an application on your mobile phone. So although the Honeywell app is the most rudimentary of all four we have here today, it's still functional and it covers the basics. You can easily turn down or turn up the temperature you want the household to be. You can select to hold that temperature for a period of time or to hold it permanently. Alternatively, you can adjust the schedule within the application. There's also an easy mode to quickly turn on or turn off the heating at the property. You can also set alerts to alert you that if the temperature in the property exceeds a certain set point. There's other basic settings such as adjusting the Wi-Fi, checking the firmware, and you can also set the brightness of the screen within the app. So the product has a nice digital. So the product has a. <coughs> so the product has a nice sleek design with an easy to use LCD display. Most smart thermostats require two components or sometimes three to work. You'll usually have the thermostat itself, the heat link which wires into the boiler. Some thermostats need an additional internet bridge to connect the two to your Wi-Fi. The Honeywell doesn't need that. All the Wi-Fi technology is built in to the thermostat itself. The unit does require a constant power supply, so it will need to go onto a stand and it can't be mounted onto the wall. It needs to be plugged in at all times to work. The menus in the Honeywell T6R are quite easy to use on the product itself, although like most smart thermostats, you'll probably find that all the control and setting of time schedules is done via the smart app. It's usually easier to do. You will have to initially set up the product via the device, such as adding your Wi-Fi key and also connecting it to the internet. It's the same thing. Um, <laughs> So the Honeywell retails for about £150, which is pretty competitive. We found it on a number of websites a little bit cheaper also. It is worth considering spending a little extra money on something with maybe some additional features. The Honeywell is solid, it's reliable, and it comes from a great brand name. It's just some of the functionality in the app is a little bit limiting. Hello? Yeah, it's broke. Oh, God. So Hive were an early adopter in the tech space for smart thermostats. They were bought some years ago by our friends British Gas. Uh, so that's disappointing. But it is a good product. It's relatively easy to use. It looks okay. It's a little bit chunky. So one of the benefits of the Hive system is it doesn't need to be plugged in all the time. It's battery powered. It can be mounted on the wall or on a stand or anywhere in the property. One of the negatives to the Hive system is it does require a third component which isn't always included in the pack sold online. You need an internet hub bridge. This device links the thermostat to the bit that wires into the boiler to your Wi-Fi. If you don't have this, you won't be able to control the thermostat via your phone and that means it's a little bit limiting. The hub costs between 30 and 50 pounds. We bought this kit from Screwfix for 160 pounds and that included the hive itself, the receiver and the hub. If you do get the hub, then this will give you access to the hive app. In the hive app, like its competitors, you can adjust a seven day schedule for time and temperature. You can also set stuff like geofencing. However, the app is a little bit limiting. It doesn't give you the functionality of either Tardo or Nest. 
So the Hive app is much like the Honeywell app, it's relatively basic but it is easy to use. You can select to have the heating on boost, you can select to have it on manual or you can select your own schedule within the system. This allows you to choose different temperatures at different times across seven days. There's also some quick action buttons which you can set within the app which cover stuff like turning the heating on, turning the heating off, a quick boost. The app does have geofencing, so it will track your location and as you return home, it can automatically turn on the heating so you don't forget. You can set the parameters and the distance you'd like to set for this. In summary, we found the Hive app relatively straightforward to use. It was easy to navigate and it was easy to select the temperature we desired for the property. The only negatives of the Hive system that we could see was the app didn't have any options for self-learning capabilities, which the Nest does. Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel with five subscribers. So Hive has a pretty smart feature built in, which is its frozen pipe protection. If the outside temperature drops below seven degrees, then Hive will cycle the heating system to keep the condensed pipe free and not frozen. Hive also works with Amazon Alexa and other smart devices. Occasionally, they have promotions running where you do get a free Amazon Alexa with your Hive thermostat. Can you do me a coffee? So on the user panel itself, it's relatively straightforward to use. It displays your current room temperature and the target temperature you're trying to achieve. There's some further menu options where you can set holiday modes, you can set your schedule, and you can set some other settings like your Wi-Fi and accessibility. Something to watch out for on Hive is if you have a combi boiler, you need the single channel unit. If you have a boiler with a tank, you need the two channel unit. If you, at a later date, convert to a combi boiler, you'll need to change the receiver unit for it to be functional with your new boiler. In summary, we like Hive, it's a good product. Although some of the features are a bit basic, they are constantly adding other products to the mix, such as light bulbs and smart sockets, and these are all controlled from the Hive app itself. Just missing out in number one, we've got the Tardo in number two. Nelly Furtado. This thermostat has some exclusive features which none of the other competitors have, and these include open window detection and also weather adaptation of the system. It's got the highest efficiency rating of all the products, and it's also the most rated on Trustpilot and any other review sites. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, because that's all the hours in the day. <laughs> so the thermostat itself is pretty basic and it only has limited function. All the operation of the system is done via the Tardo app itself. As you can see on this screen, this particular property has six zones set. So you can have multiple thermostats per room and you can adjust them individually. You select the current temperature and then you drag the temperature up or down as what you'd like to set as the next target temperature. Once you've selected the temperature you'd like, you press the tick button and then the system will show you what time this temperature will be maintained to. You can override this and have it as a permanent temperature. Each tile will show you the inside temperature as it is now and the current humidity. Tardo also has a really cool feature which allows you to check the air quality both inside the property and in the area where you live. Additional features within the app such as the open window detection and the geofencing come through as a push notification and are not automatic. You have to subscribe to Tardo services to have these items automated. Can you hear the songbirds? <laughs> Tardo can also be sourced slightly cheaper than any of its competitors as you don't always need the extension kit. You only need the extension kit if you've got a boiler with a separate hot water tank or you've not got any wires going from your Tardo to where your boiler is currently. Even with the extension kit, the Tardo still comes in at around £150. In the box, you'll get the thermostat itself, the extension kit, and you also need an internet bridge. Again, like with the Hive, this is a product that links the thermostat to the internet and to your smartphone application. 
Tardo is probably the best option for zoning your property with multiple room thermostats. They also sell their own radiator smart thermostats and these are compatible with the system and you don't need to have multiple apps on your phone to control the entire heating system. Oh, no. The open window detection on the device is industry leading. Essentially what it does, the thermostat has a sensor inbuilt if it senses that a window is open because there's a pressure change in the air, it will prompt you to turn down the system or if you pay for Tardo's subscription, it will do it automatically. Tardo makes installation very simple. When you buy the product and you download the application, they have a bank of products and boilers already built into the system and there's step-by-step -step wiring guides to installing one of these products in your home. So the design language of the product is very sort of Apple-esque and very minimalistic. It just sort of sits on the wall out the way. It's also battery operated, so you won't need to have the product wired in. Although, if you do have it wirelessly, you will need the extension kit for it to function properly. Got to dry them out. So in number one, we've got the Google Nest self-learning thermostat, and this is a generation three model. So, Go Google or Nest, well, I don't Nest on Google. So Nest was bought by Google uh, some years back and they have a full range of products. They have security cameras, doorbells and also thermostats, although they don't offer the individual room thermostats for the radiators. Scratch your arm, scratch my arm the wood. It's absolutely packed full of features. Let's take a look at them now. So the standout feature of the product is its self-learning technology. Now essentially what this does is, as you use the thermostat to turn up and turn down the temperature in the property, Nest takes this information and starts to build an algorithm of how you like your heating system. What you'll find is after a couple of weeks of use, you'll walk up to the thermostat to turn the heating on and it'll already be switched on. You can turn this feature off, manually override it and set your own schedule. Although I personally have Nest at home, I find the auto learning feature is one of the best features the product has. The Nest Generation 3 also has a motion sensor on the product. So along with geofencing using your current location by GPS, if the thermostat doesn't notice any movement in the property, it will automatically shut the heating off. And this is where smart thermostats start to pay for themselves. If you have a rigid schedule on your current thermostat, that doesn't take into account whether you're in or out of the property. With these products, and Nest especially, it's gonna learn your habits and it's gonna make sure the heating is never on when you're outside of the property. On the home screen, it'll show you the inside humidity, much like the Tardo, the current external temperature, and it'll also show you the current room temperature. To turn the heating up, you simply press the up arrow, the app will set, and once the screen turns orange, that means the boiler has been instructed to fire. It'll also tell you how long the temperature will take to get to the desired temperature that you've set within the application. The Nest has some additional features which can be found on the settings icon on the home screen. You'll see items such as auto schedule. This is where the Nest will automatically learn how you use your heating and adjust the schedule accordingly. You can turn on sunblock so the thermostat isn't affected by direct sunlight. Leaf settings are where the thermostat is in eco mode. You set a minimum temperature and a maximum temperature you want the house to be when you're not at home. Clang! Clang, clang, clang. Due to the computer power built inside the product, it does need a constant power supply. Therefore, unless you've got wires already in the wall, your Nest Generation 3 will need to go onto a stand. And this stand is actually an optional extra. It costs about £35. The Generation 3 product is also compatible for all types of systems. So you can have combi boilers, system boilers and regular boilers, including underfloor heating, all operated off the product. Where's the police? Come to the door. Everyone wants to see you. You could install this product yourself. Unlike Tardo, there are no step-by-step -step guides. We'd always recommend getting a pro to fit your Nest thermostat. Nest also offer their own smoke alarms, which also detect carbon monoxide. 
If you have a Nest thermostat with a Nest Protect smoke alarm, if it senses carbon monoxide on the sensor, it will automatically shut down the boiler in the event that it's the boiler emitting the carbon monoxide. A really useful feature and great for just feeling safe, really. With all the self-learning technology and geofencing built into the product, Nest also claim that they can save you between 8 and 16% on your annual heating bills by having one of their products installed. It could pay for itself in no time at all. We hope this video has been useful in helping you decide which smart thermostat to buy for your home. The Energy Saving Trust has noted that installing one of these products in your property will reduce your heating bills. It's a no-brainer. You're going to keep that, aren't you? <laughs>